How's it going? Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2011 Chevrolet Express van, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt Class 5 trailer hitch receiver. Many times when we get Express vans in, they're usually work-related vehicles. So they're going to be doing a lot of towing and hauling, things of that nature. Well, this is going to be a perfect option for that workhorse van, and that's because it's a Class 5. That's going to give us plenty of weight capacity to get the job done. And not to mention, it is extremely heavy duty, very well crafted, and built to last a long time. Now with this being a class 5, it's going to have a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening and a reinforced collar for extra strength. It's also going to have the standard 5 8 size pinhole. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. The safety chain openings are going to be pretty large and open, and that'll allow you to use just about any size hook that you might have. Now when it comes to weight capacity, this is where the hitch really shines. It's going to have a 2,400 pound maximum tongue weight rating. So that's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. So that's more than enough to use just about any accessory you would ever want. When it comes to maximum gross trailer weight rating, it's going to be 16,000 pounds for the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have on it. Now this can be used with a weight distribution system, which is a separate component. However, if you're using that, the maximum gross trailer weight rating does increase to 17,000 pounds. However, the maximum tongue weight rating does remain the same. Now I do always recommend to check with your van's owner's manual to make sure you can pull out much weight. And compared to some of the other class five hitches available, this one is going to have the highest weight capacity. And with the matte black finish, not only is it going to look more rugged, but it's going to stand up better to that wear and tear. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements, and you're going to use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be about 17 and a half inches. And you're going to use that to figure out if you need to get a ball mount with either a drop or a rise. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it's going to be about three inches. And you're going to use that to figure out if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. And with all that being said, this hitch is, believe it or not, very easy to get installed. It shouldn't take up a whole lot of your time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be working here at the back side of our van on each one of our frame rails. Now this isn't something you have to do, but what I did is lowered and removed our spare tire just to give us a little bit more room to work. First, I'd like to point out our attachment points that are going to secure our hitch to our frame rails. We're going to be using this hole, this hole, as well as this one. And they're going to be the same on both sides. Now we can put our hardware in. We're going to start with this hole closest to the front of the van and work our way back. And keep in mind, anything we do to one side from this point on, we're also going to do to the other. So for this hole, we're going to take the smaller diameter carriage bolt, as well as the spacer block, that spacer block through the carriage bolt, and we're just going to drop that down through the hole. We're going to use that same hardware combination, the smaller diameter carriage bolt and spacer block, and drop it down through this one too. Now for the attachment point here, closest to the back of the van, it's going to take the larger 916 carriage bolt and spacer block. However, in our case, the opening is just a little too small for our bolt to drop down completely through. So what I'm gonna do is just use a drill bit to open that hole up a little bit. Then we can periodically check it to see if it'll fit through. It's still a little tight, so we'll keep opening it up a little bit more. Once we verify it, it'll drop through. What I like to do is take it back out, and I'm gonna use a little spray paint to cover up that bare metal to help prevent it from any rust or corrosion. Once our paint is dry, we can go ahead and drop our hardware down in place. So now with an extra set of hands, you can go ahead and raise our hitch into position 
So we'll line it up over our hardware. You can go ahead and use flange nuts to secure it. Now we want to get at least one started on each side. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of them. And the remaining hardware is also going to get flange nuts to secure it. We get all of them hand tight. And I do want to point out the larger bolts that we used here towards the back. Be sure to use that larger flange nut that's going to match up to it. Now with all of our hardware in place and hand tight, we can go ahead and snug it all down. Now we can use a torque wrench to tighten everything down to the specification found in our instructions. And if you did remove your spare tire at this point, you can go ahead and put that back in its place. And as you can see, it fits just fine. We're gonna have more than enough room. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Curt Class 5 trailer hitch receiver on our 2011 Chevrolet Express van.